between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New York Jets. Joe Williams and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play and that'll bring up a second and 11. Mahomes and he fires one that's intercepted picked off by Jalen Ramsey and they have the football that will set up shop at the 33 yard line certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter too many ones in this play first quarter first drive first interception thrown and that last one that hurts and they'll start this drive with very good field position ground this is Leonard Fournette and not much running room down to the 32 just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game the snow coming down I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here Again, it's Fournette. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him six on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. up four. When Leonard Williams was picked in the 2015 NFL Draft, I compared him to Merlin Olsen, and I got a lot of grief about it. Did you just see that play there? Did you see how he made that move and made that tackle? That was Merlin Olsen the yeah, you right just, there. I just perked up when you said Merlin Olsen. Yeah, a lot of people said, hey, that's too much, too far, and maybe it is early, but I think this guy has a chance of fulfilling that. Back to the 33. It's a loss of two there, bringing up Sagan down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. 
We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Third and 11, and some extra depth of the secondary here. They're in the dime. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On fourth down, here's Lachlan Edwards to punt it. <laughs> and he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is taken at the 18. <laughs> It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Shotgun now for Bortles. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Muhammad Wilkerson in there to sack him for a loss of six. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. Throwing his Bortles. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. The well, screen gets seven, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. He steps into this one. And this is a rocket. This is taken at about the 14. Fancy footwork in midfield. A tremendous return there, 39 yards. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. down carry it's Williams and a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down came out in a power set but that only served to put more men in the box and guess what if you're going to do that you've got to win up front right your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders they lost all leverage on that play
Now Mahomes throwing on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. 20, 10, 5. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. And on a stage of this magnitude, the conference championship, so many early game jitters can happen, so that scores a big relief to a coach. Yeah, no one wants to mention that in the locker room before the game. No one says, hey, listen, don't fumble or don't do this because you don't want negative thoughts. That's why getting off to a good start is so huge for everyone. The first score in the conference title game, massive. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last night didn't bother you too much last night? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. But they face a second and long to start things out. The intended target, the tight end, Austin Safarian Jenkins. And it's third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's got his man here. It's green. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And let's not take for granted, in these conditions, that's never an easy pass and catch. You really got to find a way to drive the ball. You know, get your grip. You know, that's why we see some of the guys now that put the gloves on when they, when they throw the ball in this type of a condition. Sometimes the glove might make it too slippery. So you've got to figure out what's going to work for you. But how about the receivers? Looking back and trying to locate the ball coming through snow and making sure they have full concentration. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Field. Here's Mahomes. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Fournette, a first down carry. And an alley to run. And he's brought down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. 
In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will make our score 9 to nothing. So a good kick that time, and he's able to redeem himself from the previous miss. And fortunately for him, he got the chance to do that not long after missing the first time. Sometimes a whole game goes by, and you don't get that chance at all. So you keep it with you till the next time you take the field. And New York set to take the field. And three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Got an open man. It's a third one. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Going to go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. Going for it all, and it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. Second down, here's Fournette. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third down, Fournette, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. 
back with more of the AFC Championship game after this. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will bump up the lead again to 12-0. So the defense gets the pick. The offense, Charles, they go backwards, but they do get three points. Very happy to get the three, but you know who's happier? The defensive team on the other side. They shut them down after the turnover. It's now a hit and a loose football. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Bortles on the give to Fournette. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I've yet to meet a wide receiver who likes to block more than catching the football, but the best ones understand that that's how they'll actually get more passes thrown to them if they help in the run game. And anytime you get a run of that yardage, that means the wide receivers did help. They get down to what a lot of people call the second level, the linebackers, or the third level where the defensive backs are, and they get out in front and put their bodies out. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Now Myers for the extra point. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for Ruffin. No doubt about it because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. And these have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 24-yard line. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a third and nine and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off around the 41. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Touchdown, Jaguars! A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
And New York set to take the field. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally, I'm one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Mahomes will try again on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Chad Hansen, the intended receiver, and it's third down. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know. But all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, couldn't find a silver lining in this one. Much more like lead. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. The Jets on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Here we go now. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Bortles trying to lay one up deep. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamar Taylor, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. All right, here we go. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. So we are halfway home to fit. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. 
A big third down play there for the Jags. And even 60 yards. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll run it again with Fournette. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. It's Fournette. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one inside the ten, down to the eight. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And Myers able to knock it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals for him here, and this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession. And so far, they've done a nice job of that. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On second down, here's Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off here by Aaron Colvin. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. And he is knocked down from the side at the 28. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Fournette on the counter. Down right around the 25. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Jaguars on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and six. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, And to give this time to the tailback. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, here's the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. And Myers able to knock it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
And New York set to take the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Dewan Smooth in there to bury him for a loss of 11. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. And able to find Green. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. It goes as a pickup of 23. That's good for a Jets first down. Mahomes now to throw. And caught right side. Green. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Ladarius Green. 55 yards. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Captain Zero out now as he'll kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out come the Jags. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. on the play back at his own 19 yard line they lost four there and it's third down now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts that'll leave them with two remaining we'll be back after this The Jaguars on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 17. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Here's Brad Nortman now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This will be fielded at the 17. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Nearly a huge return, as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Mahomes now on first down. 
the slant pattern here complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. On second down, Williams. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And incomplete here on third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. So the offense has it first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Mahomes again here on second and ten. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown. And frankly, that should have been another pick right there. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. The Jets on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and a mile. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now the Holmes got to have this one. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end green. It's a big play that time by the Jets. 38 yards. We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays. But when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Yannick Ngakwe in there to drop him and it'll be a loss of about eight Mahomes to throw on second down got a man it's caught touchdown Jets with Darius Green his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Jets are able to cut into this deficit so he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. In any event, however this turns out, he's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't he? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. 
Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hope they flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. The Jaguars on third down, as bad as you can be. 0 for 7 thus far. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning. And we'll be back. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard at the 22-yard line. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because yeah, the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Chad Hansen, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. to throw it's Mahomes and this is going to be incomplete I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me I didn't see anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete a critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing so they'll go for it on fourth down now Mahomes Incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. the 30 so he loses three yards there now third down brand this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter they're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball made it very difficult right there now they need to repeat that effort yeah bring seven eight nine whatever it's gonna take to slow them down the jaguars on third down it has been a disaster 0 for eight thus far this will be third and 15 
Now Bortles maybe with a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Bortles. And the third down pass falls incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, and still a good size lead, so they haven't necessarily needed him. But this is now two missed field goals for him in this game so far. Yeah, and the question now is, will he be prepared when they do need him? Whether that's later in this game or sometime down the line, having a kicker you can count on is definitely imperative. On first down, Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 46. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Time for a break. Back to wrap up the AFC Championship game after this. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short gain down to about the 33. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. The Jaguars on third down. Can you believe it? 0 for 9 thus far. This is third and 9. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. Well, the Lombardi Trophy would be nice to hoist. They have to hold off for that for a little bit. Right now, the Lamar Hunt has to feel good to hold. Oh, it's got to feel great for them. And remember, Lamar Hunt helped create the American Football League, which became, of course, in most part, the American Football Conference. And he's the one who gave us the name Super Bowl.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.